Uh, Garza, uh, again, kind of, t- you know, Daniel Bryan is the big news right now. So, uh, but of course, why did he retire? Uh, Garza, you had a, you had a little bit of a, 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 a angle you wanted to take on this. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, we've been talking about Daniel Bryan since yesterday, uh, but there's a, a big elephant that th- now surrounds the room, and that's uh, concussions. Uh, there is. It's, this is not about really bashing WWE because all oh, they wouldn't allow Daniel Bryan to wrestle or anything. But now with the test that Daniel took and he was able to, to figure out things about his brain, how many guys are in the roster right now on concussions? I mean, Daniel, I mean, Bully Ray or Baba Ray Dudley, that guy has like 10 concussions. Mm. Uh, Dreamer, Ziggler, I mean, Carmella, is, she, she's in NXT right now, and she already got one. So well, I, I think there's going to be big consequences coming from this uh, because how many people are going to start, like, looking for those tests, like, on their own to see how their brains are? And, I mean, how many people are going to start considering retirement after, after this? Like, where, where do you guys see this – Concussion, uh, concussion topic going for WWE. Well, I think it's going to go straight uh, to where Daniel Bryan is, and that's retirement and being able to walk and think whenever you're 45 years old. I mean, heck, the culture's changing, and I and you made up a, a great point when you said, "Well, are they going to go look out on their own?" Well, CM Punk did talk uh, very uh, poorly about the company, and that's where the lawsuit came up with the whole staff infection situation. Let's say WWE does. Uh, find out he did had staff and fix it. Does he leave the company? I don't know, but maybe that wouldn't have uh, gave Daniel Bryan the initiative to look elsewhere. Perhaps he could have stayed within the company. I'm not sure, but I think CM Punk uh, in with the negative reactions that he was giving with Dr. Amen and the, and the medical team really started this whole trend of, well, maybe let's not trust just one issue. And also that's WWE's case of we need to be a little bit more serious because Punk could sue for malpractice if everything comes up. And it, what if Brian did get the clearance from WWE, but not from outside doctors, and he gets hurt in the ring? That's on them. And Vince McMahon didn't want Kurt Angle to come back, so the reports say, because something could happen to him. Uh, it's all about safety now. The culture is changing. It's changing in the NFL, and it's changing here. Yeah, I, I, I think I, obviously more concussion testing and more uh, ability for th- these things to be spotted is always a great thing, um, without a doubt. Um, I find it. I find it extremely interesting. I do think there is a level of, I don't want to say stubbornness in a sense, but a level of, of fighting through injuries that's sort of instilled in pro wrestlers that uh, is, is, is difficult and hard and kind of sad, but also is just a thing that I think exists. Uh, I mean, obviously there are reports, but all the reports said that, you know, Brian was more than willing to, you know, work on the independents. If you know WWE wasn't willing enough to clear him, he wanted to wrestle still. Like he wanted to still compete, no matter the time that he spent out of the ring and the injuries that he's had. Um, I think that um, there is that level of well, I'm still going to compete. I still want this. I still want to do this. Um, obviously, I think more testing's better. Uh, I think we mentioned before how Daniel Bryan has sort of uh, instituted a new. St- almost a new style to how WWE wrestling is done. It's not the same style you got 10 years ago or or 15 years ago. And that's great almost from an artistic point of view, but also in the sense of while that has changed, the schedules haven't changed. The amount of times these wrestlers are working hasn't changed. The amount of bumps they're doing has increased. Um, I think that plays a real big factor um, because you, you sort of expect it to deliver. Every single time you're out there, no matter if it's on uh, WrestleMania or a a house show in front of maybe a couple thousand, like you're expected to deliver and you're expected to give people their money's worth. Um, And just the amount of dates they're working and the amount of shows they have to do, uh, it's very difficult. I can only imagine how difficult it could be, you know, one, just working in general, but also with concussions and also multiple other injuries how that plays a factor. Yeah. There's interesting uh, parallels between um, 
WWE and the NFL. Um, when the concussion thing hit in the NFL several years ago, there was all this resistance from players. There were even players who would tell you, who would tell reporters to their face, yeah, I may be a vegetable in 30 years, but I'm going to make as much money as I can now because I don't care what happens at the end of my life. But as time has gone on, you've seen more NFL players and you've even seen a few now retiring early, really good players who are in their prime um, and have no reason to be retiring other than concern for their long-term health. Um, but Eamon is right. Hashtag Eamon is right. Um, <laughs> wrestlers want to wrestle. Daniel Bryan had to be dragged kicking and screaming from professional wrestling. Don't ever forget that. I mean, I'm sure he, he had one more test and it convinced him to finally retire. But despite all those concussions, despite all the wear and tear that he knew, he knew all along the wear and tear his body had taken over all those years of professional wrestling. He knew that he had suffered those three concussions within the first year that he was a professional wrestler. He knew all that, and he still wanted to come back. And it was only after a third, a fourth, a fifth opinion that he was finally convinced to step away. Certainly, certainly. And so, I mean, this is, you know, like you talked about that, you know, are we going to, do you think generally, you, you mentioned how many, what percentage do you think we're going to have of, of, of early retirees? You know, are we going to see this number increase? Are, are you know, are we going to look at situations like going into WrestleMania where it seems like all the big talent is getting injured? Even NXT seems to be uh, 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 bitten by the bug with Finn Balor lately. Are those going to turn into, well, maybe they're not coming back? Obviously, different injuries. But, but you know, as and, and actually, does anybody know what this test was that was so different than what they usually do? No, I, I don't think anybody knows, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if this works on the record. So, uh, and it'll be interesting, you know, again, do, do they take more? Do we see more retires? Um, and then how much more important is it going to be for these guys to take care of themselves? You know, is is wrestling going to, how much safer can can the wrestling get, you know? Um, but I, I, think, I think we'll either see one of two things in that case. We'll either see us, uh, uh, the, the style of wrestling kind of go more the way of what we saw five or 10 years ago, Mm -hmm. or we will see, uh, and this is less likely, but I feel more necessary, a decrease in schedules, Um, uh, less shows. Um, I don't think they'll ever do an off season, but I think that they definitely, I think for the longevity of their performers should look into cutting down some of their shows. Right, right. At least, at least, yeah, for the performers, for, you know, the, the, you know, John Cena goes away for at least three months a year just to heal up, right? Um, Because that wear and tear. Maybe even just sending people down to the performance center for a month and you do a stint down there and you get to be in the performance center and you get to, you know, rehab if you have something nagging Mm -hmm. and you get to be on NXT still and you can still get to beef up that and you can still work the Florida circuit down there for the NXT, NXT B team and, and you could be a big draw for them while you're kind of recuperating. You know, it's, it's a good idea. They got to think long-term maintenance um, for a lot of these guys. Cause yeah, like Amos said, you've got to, you've got to work smarter. Wrestlers, when they get older, they end up, they all work smarter. John Cena used to do moves. He doesn't do those moves anymore. Cause he doesn't have to, cause he's over like Rover and it doesn't matter anymore. Um, AJ Styles, we saw AJ Styles and TNA doing crazy stuff. And then a couple years ago, we saw him live at a Ring of Honor show. And AJ Styles is suddenly this super economic performer in the ring. He doesn't really do all that crazy stuff anymore. Sure, like if it's a big match and he's in New Japan and it's Okada, yeah, he's going to go <laughs> all out. But on those other days, he's smart. you got to get smarter as you get older. I mean, how about oh. how about that, Matt? You you and I both witnessed that match he had uh, for uh, Ring of Honor TV in West Virginia against Matt Seidel, and and how how amazing that match was. And to consider he's probably doing half the stuff he was ten years ago because but he was still. a better wrestler. Because he's a better wrestler now. Exactly. That that's the proof. That's the proof that you're a great wrestler. You don't have to do as much as he used to do. Right. Right. Um, yeah, they're talking in the chat room here, of course. Uh, Mike's saying if the writing was a little bit better, they wouldn't have to depend on such long matches on Raw. I don't know if that's so much the case. You I, don't know, know I don't know the length of the matches is the case. I think no. the amount of matches they have to do is the issue. Right, and what they're doing, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, please, two hours. Big wrestling <laughs> fan saying too much wrestling. That's okay. We got the network. We can fill the rest of the time with that. USA, come to your senses. My God. Even even when you have Triple H saying, man, I wish we had two hours <laughs> on their own network, I think there's a problem here, okay? And everybody's feeling it. And I don't really see... That's a whole other discussion we're not going to have here. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's led to Daniel Bryan's concussion in particular. <laughs> but, uh, but no, certainly. Um, geez. Well, uh, we'll see what happens from this. Um, you know, like I said, the, the injury discussion will, will, will keep going. We're seeing uh, WWE, I guess, suffer from it. And uh, which, which strangely is going to make for a more interesting WrestleMania in my mind. So uh, we'll see well, what happens. Maybe. There. We'll, 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 see how, we'll see how it goes after Fastlane. Uh, you know, you know, I, I think the coolest stuff comes when, uh, when you know, they're kind of up against the wall anyways, as has been proven many, many yeah. times with the WWE. So, all right. Well, we're going to come back uh, with the big question. And, of course, the long-awaited, I know John's over there uh, 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 ready for it, and the arts and crafts have been happening, the mayhem mania, and and geez, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen out of that. Look, are you stretching, Garza? Is that what's happening there? Yeah, I'm getting ready, <laughs> getting ready. <laughs> the hottest, uh, I mean, do we call it a game? The hottest thought ex- experiment to the to, hottest thought experiment on the internet, sorry. Oh, geez, there's your teaser right there. <laughs> the but hottest it, competitive thought experiment on the internet. But in the meantime, uh, uh, our partner site, indiewrestling.com.